I got hair in my mouth. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is a really quick one. Um, not gonna lie, I was working on another video, but then all the audio is just off and I hate it. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna upload that one. So I'm filming another video for this week. <laughs> Hi. How are y'all? Hope y'all are doing good. So today's video is uh, about Nachi, Nachi Kins, because he's about to turn one. Happy almost birthday, honey bunny. So I'm gonna tell you guys how it's been this whole year, you know, me dealing with Nachi and Nachi dealing with me. He has had to put up with me this entire year and that's not easy. Um, okay. I don't know how he has accomplished it this far, but good for you, Nachikins. Oh, you're so warm. He's warm. He was under his heat mat. You guys, look at him. Look at this little face. Like, like, look at it. It's so cute. Why are you so cute? Mommy loves you. So I got Nachi last year at a Reptile Expo in December. I'm actually gonna be there again this November 30th. So if you are there and you see me walking by, I don't know, stop a girl and say hello. <laughs> he is my first snake ever. Before him, I had never owned snakes, but I knew a lot about them because I was kind of obsessed with them. You guys know the whole story of why I didn't have snakes until now, like just click on that video. I don't know which corner it's gonna be in <laughs> but click there if you haven't heard the story so yes he was my first snake ever like I just saw him there and like I don't know I knew he was mine so like we connected okay like I saw him in the eyes and he looked back at me in my eyes and I just knew he was the one there was like hundreds of snakes there and I chose him and he chose me so that was like special yo <laughs> honestly like I have no complaints about him at all whatsoever he has been a dream snake nachi what are you doing there child he thinks i don't notice him trying to come over here with the <laughs> rats <laughs> imagine if this was one of those like what's in my purse videos and like i pull out my purse with my snake inside and it's just like the most normal thing ever for me and like i'm sure someone somewhere out there watching this is like freaking out right now <laughs> The point of this video for me was I actually found some pictures of me and him from last year right after I brought him home. Like he was so tiny. So I thought it'd be really fun to recreate them and see his growth. So let's do it. Okay, so um, I mean, it's pretty simple. I just kind of had him on my head. So <laughs> let's do that. Ta da! 10 seconds later, we got tangled. Bum. 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 I think I just made it worse. <laughs> Ta da! Thank 
So that was Nachi. Um, what do you guys think? I think he like doubled at least in size. That's just me though. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. I'm sorry about the really dark lighting, but we are actually watching a movie. That's his favorite movie. I'm not sure why, but I guess, you know, whatever baby wants, baby gets. This is his blankie. It's his favorite blankie. So really quick, I'm going to answer some frequently asked questions on Nachi. Is he still eating frozen feeders? Yes, he is still eating frozen food. Well, frozen thawed, you know, I don't feed him. Frozen rodents, I thaw them out for him. Steph, when are you getting another snake? Uh, I don't know what I'm getting at the expo. I don't know if I'm gonna get another snake. I don't think so unless I see one that I like completely fall in love with But I'm not really looking to add any more snakes to the family right now. So that's that. How is he with shedding? I don't have any problems with him with shedding. He sheds beautifully in one piece. He never has like pieces of stuck shed on him or anything. Like he's really such a good boy. He's a dream snake. I was trying to find a good Nachi shed to show you guys, but I don't have any. <laughs> See, every time I like lay them out to dry, my cats just like find them and tear them to pieces. So that's, <laughs> that's what I have. <laughs> and if you're wondering what this weirdness here is, it's just a bunch of like feathers from my birds and turtle shells cute that they shed off naturally oh my god i'm so weird this is a giant madagascar hissing cockroach shed obviously this black one is ernie's yeah i have this weird bag of like sheds and things i don't know why okay i'm just weird actually really quick before i go i want you guys' opinion on a project that I've had for uh, around six months now. So when my neighbors gave me Gustavo, my parrot, um, a few days later, they actually gave me this aquarium and stand. I haven't touched it all these months. Just, I, I don't know. I just, I haven't done anything with it. It's just kind of in storage, but because I am going to the pet expo, like I do have some little critters in mind that I'm thinking I want to keep and explore, but I actually want you guys' opinions. So I don't know, should I keep this as an aquarium? Do I turn it into a terrarium, a vivarium? What do we put in here? Give me some suggestions. Let me know down below in the comments. Now, obviously if it's not an animal species that I'm familiar with, I'm gonna need to do a ton of research, a ton of it, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, you know what? It is feeding day. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed him and show you guys his feeding routine. That is it for this video. I will see you guys at the pet expo if you're gonna be there. I'd love to meet you. And if not, then I'll just see you guys in the next video. I, I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>So the first thing I do is, well obviously I go over to the freezer and pull out the feeders. He's currently eating two mice because I have to size him up already. But he still has quite a few mice left so I'm not gonna buy rats until he finishes all these mice. So he is currently eating two mice per feeding. Okay, there's like a bajillion ways that people thaw out their feeders for their reptiles. This is what I do, since it's just like one snake. Okay, so what I do is I take one of these little containers and I add some warm water from the tap. So then I place inside the mice and then I take this other little container, same one, and place it on top and add a little bit of the water to that top container so it submerges the mice in the bottom container. You know, because they are frozen, they float because, you know, ice floats. So for them to thaw out faster, I do this. And also, like, that top little container helps keep my cats away from the feeders. Like, seriously, my cats are awful. They get into everything. <laughs> and yes, in case you're wondering, they have taken feeders from this and, like ripped the bag to shreds but not actually eat the feeder like what's the point of that <laughs> so after like uh i don't know 20 30 minutes they are thawed like you touch them and they're soft 
and you could go ahead and feed them nachi is not a picky eater so i don't have to warm them up for him but just because i love him and <laughs> i want him to eat warm meals an extra step i do is i dump this water and replace it with like slightly warmer than warm water but not like scorching hot and go ahead and leave the mice dipped in there for a good 10 minutes and then immediately after i feed nachi so that he gets to enjoy his meals warm <laughs> so i know a lot of you don't keep snakes and have never seen a snake eat like up close so enjoy Thank you. 